Hi, I'm Dr. Zane Sterling with Dynamic Fat Loss. I'd like to speak with you today about one of my favorite subjects, sugar. The thing about this sugar is we know it's sugar. This is a four pound package. We can bake cookies with it. We can use it for other baking goods. But it's very clear. They label it right on the package. It's pure sugar. I'm actually going to set that down. I kind of don't even like touching it. Some of the products, though, that we take in every day, whether we drink them, drink the product or eat it, maybe sugar we're not that aware of being in this product and how much sugar is in it. So I wanted to share a little bit with you. The first one I'm going to share with you is a Snickers bar. Snickers, everybody knows Snickers bars. This candy bar has about 20 grams of sugar, which the reason I picked a Snickers bar is because 20 grams of sugar is what is recommended for an entire day supply for a lady. Men, don't, don't know why, but we get recommended 35 grams of sugar. So again, about 20 grams of sugar for ladies, about 35 grams of sugar for men. Let's look at some other products. This is Bolt House Farms Berry Boost. This is a pretty popular smoothie. It says right on the package, eight servings of fruit. So it's not, it must be good for you. It's got apples in it. It's got berries in it. It's got bananas in it. What it doesn't tell you is 12 ounces, pretty much one serving, has 30 grams of sugar in it. So the fruit has been processed, the sugars have been concentrated to a form that we're going to use in our body, not just for energy, but to store fat. Let's go to the next one. I really like this uh, packaging at least. It says 100% juice, organic cranberry juice, no sugar added. 100% vitamin C, non-GMO. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? This has 32 grams of sugar in a 12 ounce serving. So for ladies, you're getting a day and a half's worth of sugar in just a 12 ounce serving. You could probably drink 12 ounces on your way out, jumping in your car, headed to the office in the morning. Here's one that we maybe don't realize. Our favorite energy or uh, replenishment drink, Gatorade. This is a 20 ounce bottle. What it doesn't tell you is 20 ounces has 34 grams of sugar in it. So if we're sweating, thinking we're replacing electrolytes, best thing to do is just drink water. Stay away from the, stay away from the replenishment drinks. Here's one I kind of, you know, honestly, I bought this just because I wanted to share it with you. It's an energy drink. I was kind of sneaking around the grocery store. I didn't want anybody to see me buying this. An energy drink, amazingly, now this is a 20 ounce can, but a 12 ounce can has 40 grams of sugar in it. More than the average man's daily recommended dose of sugar and two days worth of a lady's recommended sugar in just a 12 ounce serving. So this can blows you away. This can has over 50 grams of sugar in it. Now let's go to, I was gonna say favorite soda, but I don't have a favorite soda. Um, I hope you don't either. Let's go Pepsi. 41 grams of sugar in 12 ounces. So let's think twice about who we're giving this to, especially to our children. The sugar triggers an insulin response, makes it tough on our kidneys, and the insulin packages the sugar and sends it straight to fat. Here's one that might surprise you. California organic raisins. Raisins, they have to be good, right? They're just uh, dehydrated grapes, one half cup, just a little, little handful, half a cup of raisins, 58 grams of sugar. So when we send our kids to school um, with their lunches in the morning full of raisins, we're giving them 58 grams of sugar, more than three times what a child should have, twice what, somewhere in between twice and, and uh, three times what ladies should have in terms of sugar in just a quarter or a half a cup of raisins. I'm sorry, half a cup. Now let's get to the biggie. Grape juice. Welch's grape juice, doesn't matter if it's Welch's or whoever's, grape juice has the highest concentration of sugar of all the fruit juices. 58 grams of sugar in a 12 ounce glass. So when our children ask for something to drink in the morning, we need to shy away from juice. Whether it's orange juice, apple juice, grape juice, it goes straight to a fat storage rather than giving us energy. And then what happens a couple hours later? When we have a lot of sugar in our system, a couple hours later that 
Sugar has been stored as fat, and we're hungry again. We're looking for something to eat. The biggie, the last one, our morning mochas. This is our favorite. This is actually a 16-ounce cup. 20-ounce mocha from Starbucks has 60 grams of sugar. So when we stop to talk to a friend in the morning or maybe have our first business meeting, the mocha is giving us three times for ladies, three times your recommended amount of sugar in the morning. And then we head off to the office and wonder why we're hungry at 10, 30, or 11 o'clock. It's because again, the sugar has triggered an insulin response. Our bodies put that away as fat. These are just a few of the things that we learned during the dynamic fat loss program to stay away from. And just maybe one of 50 or 60 or 70 bits of information we want to give you in terms of what to eat, when to eat, how to eat, and then why to eat, and what it actually does to your body. I'm Dr. Zane Sterling with Dynamic Fat Loss. Hopefully this help is helpful for you. If you need to give us a call, we'd like to talk to you. 30-minute consultation, and we'll talk to you about why our program is so successful.